Today we're gonna to be working at the warehouse again, but it's not gonna be on the 60 this time. Today we're gonna to be working on my Tacoma. Um, so I've said it in the past that I've been uh, meaning to get new leaf springs and that's exactly what we're gonna be up to today. I got the OME heavy duty leaf springs and when I got them, like after I purchased them, I thought this might be a little bit too heavy duty for what I need. But then thinking about it and you know seeing what I have on the truck and what I plan to get on the truck, I think it's gonna be the perfect setup. So let's take a look at what of the truck right now. Uh, you can kind of see, let me get back a little bit. There is a little bit slight, you know, it's sitting a little bit lower in the back, and a little bit of that has to do with the ground, but also a lot of that has to do with the, with the leaf springs that are, you know, kind of inverted and all the weight that I have in the back. Uh, I did measure the height of each tire well from here to the ground uh, before I put the tent on and it was a difference between uh, let's say a quarter to half inch they're relatively level now it doesn't look like now it doesn't look so much level to me especially after putting the tent on which is about 200 pounds um, now after I bought the leaf springs I was uh, like I said they have a uh, load capacity of 660 plus, uh, 660 pounds extra from you know the uh, uh, standard uh, leaf springs, and uh, you know the the rock sliders I have are about 100 pounds each. Uh, I don't know exactly, but they feel about that much. The bed rack is pretty close to maybe 100, 150. The tent is 200. So right there, you got. Um, 550 pounds so that's gonna be that extra 600 pounds and eventually I do plan to get a new bumper so that's gonna be even uh, another maybe a couple hundred pounds so after you know thinking about that I think the leaf springs are gonna be good uh, I shouldn't have shouldn't be I'm not too worried about it they should uh, should ride uh, fairly similar it's not gonna be too bouncy I mean, that's what I was worried about it's gonna be too stiff of a suspension but there it is like a two-stage um, a leaf spring uh, right here I mean if you look at the leaf springs and now what I have on they're you can pretty much see they're inverted they actually go up instead of down like they should and it might be a better view from here let's see yeah I don't know if you can see that but they're pretty much flat And when we take them off, we'll do a comparison. Uh, right now, what I want to do is I'm actually going to... Uh, so I said the difference between the height of the two tire wells were pretty much the same. Let me measure it right now and see what it is. So just to get some numbers, right now the front is sitting at about 37 and a half. Let's take a look at the back now I said before without the tent it was pretty much within a quarter inch half inch and here we're at 37 actually well yeah about the same about 37 so maybe it was about a quarter inch uh, difference but you know you can definitely tell it's a little bit lower in the back and if I were to sit back there it easily drop uh, a half inch maybe more so these are the leaf springs that I bought for the truck uh, once again they're the old man emu um, heavy duty uh, leaf springs for the Tacoma I guess the part number is right here EL096R and I also went ahead and got the bushings the um, uh, carrier the drive shaft carrier bearing uh, drop kit which will help with the angle of the drive shaft new u-bolts and I got the also went ahead and got the old man emu um, shocks that were specced out for the two inch lift so these leaf springs for the third gen Tacoma should be giving it a two inch lift in the back right now I do have a one inch block so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one inch block and uh, and get rid of the one inch block and the stock leaf springs and change it out with these old man emu heavy duty leaf springs and in the front 
Um, I do have a one inch spacer. So basically what I got a three in one leveling kit. Uh, so it's a three inch uh, spacer in the front and then the one inch block in the back. So I'm gonna get rid of the block and the uh, stock leaf springs and replace them with the old man emu heavy duty leaf springs. So let's get to it. All right, I just spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out how to remove the spare tire. Uh, there's a bolt back here that I need to slide out, but the spare tire is blocking it. So I was gonna go ahead and lower it. And I got the spare tire um, uh, kit to remove it. You simply insert this end into a slot uh, right above the license plate. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there should be a slot. Definitely can't see it. There should be a slot that this hook fits into. So we looked in there and all we saw something that fits like a uh, Torx uh, uh, head. And did some Googling and there is a spare tire lock. And um, I was like, well, how do I get that off now? So I decided to look in the glove box and I found the key. So as you're struggling to remove the spare tire, some trucks, I didn't request it, I didn't know about it until now, have a spare tire lock and you need a special key to remove it and then it exposes the slot where the this hook uh, goes into place so now i can continue with removing the leaf spring so we got the old leaf springs off uh, old shock is off this was the uh, one inch block that I had for the one inch lift in the back. Gonna go ahead and remove that and go ahead and get the uh, new leaf spring installed. You know, you can see the difference between the two. Uh, the new leaf springs have a lot more actual leaf springs and a additional uh, overload uh, spring. So it's gonna be a lot stiffer and hopefully it'll give it a better ride as well because I believe these uh, old leaf springs have been overloaded and flexed a little too much and just kind of already shot. Here we go, the leaf springs are in. Now we just gotta tighten up all the bolts and install the shock as well. Wasn't too difficult. One thing that did help out was where I was gonna planning to do one side at a time. So we got this side done and we couldn't align the bolts up for the leaf spring. So we ended up getting the other side loose as well, taking off the, the leaf spring. And you know that, that way we can move the axle where we needed to get the bolts aligned. So that's one thing that, that really helped out. So now, tighten up the bolts and get the shocks in place and put the wheels on and see what it looks like. So we're finally done installing the new leaf springs and shocks. Um, we're gonna find out how much taller it is and see what it looks like once we get this wheel back on. And one thing we did notice that these leaf springs are actually pretty flat after you install them. Under all the weight of the truck, so. But we will see how it feels, how it rides, and what it looks like afterwards. Truck's done, everything's been installed. Now we're about to lower it and see how much uh, increase of lift we have now. Alright. Oh wow. It is. Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks a lot more than two inches. 
<laughs> it looks crazy. There's so much space between the tire well now. So before we had uh, the height at the top of the tire well was uh, 37 inches. So let's see what it's at now. It looks a lot higher. We are at 39 and a half. So before it was 37, we we're down here. And we're now at 39 and a half. So we got two and a half inch lift. And these are supposed to be two inch. But, you know, once we drive on the truck and the springs will settle a little bit, it may drop down to 39. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, I can't wait to drive it, see if it's, uh, you know, is the ride going to be stiffer or not. We, I did stand on here and it did not budge. It just, you know, last, so before I changed the springs out, I sat down on the back, the truck was squat down another half inch or so. I sat on the back of the truck, it didn't even move. Let's, I'll show you right now. It's, you want to get like everything? <laughs> yeah. Does it even move at all? Like a little bit. Yeah, before I'll sit back here, it would squat down another inch or so, so. Pretty excited. Can't wait to drive it and take it off roading and see how the new leaf springs feel. One thing they suggest is to install this uh, drive shaft spacer uh, carrier bearing drop kit. Um, basically, there's a, uh, a bearing or a carrier in the middle, uh, right before where the two shafts are connected. And what this will do is it'll drop the drive shaft to kind of help realign the second drive shaft. Uh, uh, realign the, uh, I guess the angle uh, to the uh, axle. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. It's pretty simple. It's two bolts. It says to do one side first so the drive shaft stays um, uh, supported and then do the other side. So I've been driving the truck now for a couple of days. The springs have settled a little bit, um, but most importantly, the truck rides so much better now. I'm really impressed with the way it turned out. Uh, the, um, the back is, is so much smoother. I was expecting it because they're heavy duty springs and they have a higher spring rate. I thought the truck was gonna be riding a little bit um, stiff, you know, kind of like bouncy in the back, you know, similar to the 60. Uh, but it's not. It's actually a smoother ride. I was very surprised. I'm so excited um, how it turned out. And I don't know why I didn't do this months ago. But here's a truck. So you can kind of see how it, you know, it, it's sitting now. It's slightly higher in the back. But that's fine. Uh, I'd rather it be slightly higher in the back than sagging in the back the way it was without, um, the way it was before with the old leaf springs. And I do plan to do a lift kit in the front. Uh, right now is a three inch block or a three inch spacer. Um, I kind of want to go with a four inch lift, but that's going to be later down the line as I want to get a rear bumper first. So super excited on the way the truck is, uh, the stance that it has now and uh, the smoothness of the ride. And now I just need to go test it out on the trails. Mm -hmm. 